So, I've been shopping around on eBay, find, trying to find some more projects to work on. And I came up with these two. So, it were an auction for two iPods, just literally listed as two iPods. Um, the description said, two Apple iPods in fair condition. See photos for more description. Not description, description. One is 40 gigabyte, and the other slim one is four gigabytes so that's the nano and then there's a old ipod third gen so a rare ipod especially for what i paid for it uh, both work but no chargers hence parts so there's no no chargers the, the spares are repair at the end of the day they say they both work but i need to find out and verify that these nanos not many of them are left because you've got to sold at battery to replace them so they are a nightmare to fix so most of them are in bin, let's be honest. Anyway, I have already unboxed these, as, as you can see. And I've also tried them with a USB Thunderbolt cable. I got, well not Thunderbolt, what do they call it? It's the old 40, 40 pin, you know, that one. Um, this one had no life whatsoever. And this one was flashing like mad. But I assume it's dead. Anyway, I've got an old Firewire char charger. And the Firewire charger does kick them to life sometimes. It's, it, when they haven't been charged for a while, these old iPods can die and, and no matter how much you charge them on the USB wire, they won't work. But the extra voltage or amps or whatever it is, what does it? The magic of Firewire, the brilliance of Firewire, sometimes wakes them up. It's, it's worked loads with me before with old 4th, 5th and an iPod Mini. Let's give it a go. So we're over at my bed. Just because it's nearest to war what? Christ, that's American. Let's give it a go then. I don't want to go in one-handed. Straight away. What does that say? Use iTunes to restore. Okay, fair enough. Well, straight to life though. But this one was working on USB, it was just flashing on and off. Oh, it's, it's gone off now. Yeah. See if it's got any battery life left in it. Yeah, the bat battery seems to be holding a bit of charge at least. Yeah, I, I think this one, while the battery might be on its way out, for, for sure, just because of the age of the thing, it has got some life left in it. Yeah, so that, that, that is a repairable iPod. To be fair, I've always wanted to try battery swapping one of these, and I mean, they're that worthless now, but it's, it's worth a shot. You know, you can only kill it. You know what I mean? Lose, lose a fibre. This is the one I bought the listing for, though. The fourth, third gen. Now, these are rare and expensive, and one of the best-looking iPods, I've got to be honest. And this had no life over USB. So... Let's have a go. I do believe the third gen iPod is the first iPod at all to have USB support in the first place. Hey, I think I think that whatever magic goes on with Firewire has worked. Doing more than it was before. Now I can for sure after battery's been uncharged for that long, the battery's gonna be naffed. So this is gonna need a battery swap. See what kind of things are on here. Two pack, four seasons, a flock of seagulls. Of course, yeah, of course, that's it. I ran. Abba, alt classics. It's always interesting to see what's on someone else's iPod. So it's a 40 gig iPod with Ken's iPod, and it looks like about 10 gigabytes, just under 10 gigabytes have been used. So there's probably more than likely this iPod's never once seen anything more than that usage. That's mad when you think about it. They could have saved this in a bit of money and got a 20 gigabyte. Set backlight off, does that look see any better? Yeah. But yeah, I think we do have a work, two working iPods here. As much as I bought it, expecting them to be broken. Now, that for sure. It's an easy fix. The third gen is 
very very repairable there's parts and everything for them available whereas the nano first gen nano is a uh, rated on ifix it is very difficult and see it batteries died this one's going to be a bit of a challenge but i'm going to give it a go because i, I do have a appreciation for the old nanos especially like the older the older ones like these later on they did get a bit naff if you ask me but even then they've got their own charm so i'm going to give this a go as well stay tuned if you like to see that and thanks for watching